Welcome back to Curiosity Unlocked, where we explore the science behind everyday things. Have you ever found yourself in the middle of watching a movie, wondering how exactly the TV remote works? How did the TV know that you pressed the volume button? You might think it just simply knows, in which case you would be correct. But there's a lot more going on than meets the eye. We know that every TV remote consists of a few different buttons, such as buttons for adjusting the volume, changing channels, or just turning the TV on or off. But exactly how does pressing a button perform its exact action on the TV? Let's find out. A TV remote usually consists of three main components, the buttons, the microchip, and the infrared LED light. Let's start with the buttons. These are the interface between you and your remote. Each button is connected to a small circuit inside the remote. When you press a button, it completes the circuit, sending a signal that tells the remote what to do next. One of the most important parts inside the remote is the microchip, also known as the microcontroller. This tiny chip is the remote's brain, controlling everything from interpreting your button presses to managing the infrared signals that get sent to the TV. The microchip processes your input and then runs the necessary logic to decide which signal needs to be sent. Once the microchip figures out what signal needs to be sent, it activates the infrared LED. So, what exactly is infrared light? It's a type of light wave, just like the light we see every day, but with a longer wavelength. That means it's invisible to the human eye. For TV remotes, the infrared light typically uses a frequency between 30 and 100 kilohertz. This frequency is low enough to ensure the signal doesn't interfere with other light sources and is effective over short distances, which makes it perfect for sending signals from a remote to a TV. When you press a button, the infrared LED doesn't just flash light at random, but instead it flashes a specific pattern. You can think of it as like a digital code, each code corresponding to a certain command, such as increasing volume or switching channels. This flash is the signal, a message encoded in binary code, which is just a series of ones and zeros. Now that we've covered the remote, let's talk about the infrared sensor. This little component is located on your TV and it's designed to receive the infrared signals sent by your remote. When the remote sends a signal, this sensor picks up the encoded message sent by the remote and decodes the binary code. After that, it tells the TV what action to take. The buttons on a remote are tied to specific commands. Each command consists of a unique sequence of binary code, basically a long string of zeros and ones. For example, pressing the volume up button might send a specific pattern, while pressing the power off button sends a different one. These patterns are like a secret code that your TV understands. Now you might be wondering, why use infrared light in the first place? Well, infrared light is perfect for remotes because it doesn't interfere with the things we see every day. Plus, infrared is easily absorbed by objects like walls, so it doesn't travel too far. This helps keep the remote focused only on the TV. That's why you need to point the remote directly at the TV, since the signal needs a clear path. But not all remotes work with infrared. Some newer remotes use Bluetooth or Wi-Fi technology. These remotes can communicate with your TV without needing to be pointed directly at it. Bluetooth and Wi-Fi can travel through walls and work from a greater distance, making them perfect for smart TVs. Remember when I said that infrared light is invisible to us? It is just beyond the red part of the visible spectrum of light. But here's the fun part. There's actually a way you can see infrared light, and you don't need fancy equipment to do it. All you need is your smartphone. Take your phone and point it at the remote. Now press a button on the remote. That blinking light is the infrared signal. Your smartphone camera can actually pick it up because its sensor is sensitive to infrared light, unlike our eyes. Wow. So there you have it. The next time you grab your TV remote, you'll know exactly what's going on inside. From the buttons you press, to the microchip that processes your signal, to the infrared LED that sends it to your TV. Each part plays a role in making sure we don't have to get up every time we want to change the channel. How cool is that? Thanks for unlocking your curiosity with us today. 
If you learn something new, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more cool explanations of how everyday things work. Catch you in the next one.